All right, welcome back YouTube. So good to have you. If you are new, my name is Sarah and today we're just gonna do a quick look on how to get kind of like 80s party ready. So without further ado, if you wanna see how I achieved this look today, just stay with us, let's go. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. Okay, so this is definitely, I would say, 80s, more of a inspired look, which I kind of got the idea of when all of my friends went out and kind of did like an 80s costume look. And we also did that at church recently. And so I was like, you know, I just, I didn't have the time on that night, but I definitely wanted to do something 80s. I thought that would be really fun. Um, and so, yeah, so this is just kind of what I came up with. Got some like mega lash, <laughs> actually, I kind of cut it a little too short. This is actually the Book of Lashes that I got from Sephora, and this is the Vivacious number 34 lash. And I cut it too short I, for my liking, really. If you, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it's okay. They're, they're not my favorite. I don't like ones like this that you can't like see through, see past. I mean, it's like a wall. But interestingly enough, this, even though this really doesn't have to do with the video today, but um, I used the, you know, the Sephora lash glue that came with the lashes and it dried really nice and quickly. I really like quick applying lash glue. I am pretty much over the duo realm of lash glue. It just takes so long, even though it cleans off lashes like a dream. I, I still haven't found anything that cleans off lashes that well. I basically have the full face done and all we're gonna do is get this eye done. So I am going to start, I'm gonna start with the electric palette from Ur Urban Decay. Not that you have to use this palette, but just really vibrant colors. And then I also used a little bit of the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. I just thought it would be a really good excuse for me to get some use out of these palettes since I've had them in my drawer forever. They're kind of like the type of shade that I typically just keep around for Halloween. <laughs> so, you know, or when you want to do an 80s look for, you know, maybe you're having to get an 80s party or something. So I'm taking the Slow Burn, the orangey color here. And I'm going to go with on the inner third of the crease with this. I'm going to go with the pink called Savage. And then we're going to hit the rest of this. And then what I'm doing is I'm just barely dragging. So I'm getting most of the color um, placed in the crease here. And then I'm just barely dragging it away. And that's how I kind of get like that fade. Spring is coming soon, y'all. I can't believe the warm weather that we're getting. It's so beautiful. I went outside today and I just laid down on the deck. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, with my dogs, because I was freezing cold after being in the basement for like hours, like working on some stuff. So that sucked. So I'm gonna go now with Urban, which is the deep purple here. And we're gonna place this all over the lid. I'm starting down on like the major part of my lid and then I'll bring it up into the crease. I like how um, the shades in this and the electric palette actually have kind of like a pearlescent finish to them. They're not totally matte, so they're really fun to wear even alone. And this is just a dual ended uh, brush. I think it's called a crease brush from the Balm. And you can still get it at Kohl's, which I think is the only place that I know of that sells the Balm. Just taking some more of that purple, just building up the color. You guys, I can't get these dogs to leave me alone for anything, especially on like, I'm filming at night right now. My husband's at worship practice, and so these dogs are like on me. <laughs> they won't leave me alone. I like how unique this orange color is too. Going a little bit more savage. Just wanna pull it. Just taking a smaller, smaller crease brush. I'm sorry, you guys, it's so worn out that it's all worn off. These are basically my go-to travel eye brushes because I, that's pretty much what I use my dual ended brushes for. I don't, well, I can't, I gotta take that back. I do use them at home. 
obviously. Generally, you would not want to have any of this done, but my face is a little bit broken out after trying a Wet n Wild foundation, and that was a huge mistake, and I just am really unhappy with the way my cheek looks. I won't cover it up every time, but it is kind of finished healing, it's finishing healing, and so... I just kind of wanted to cover it up a little bit more. I hope you don't mind. So then we're gonna hit on the inside. We're gonna go with Freak, which is this green here. And then I'm also gonna um, start adding the moon dust shadows on top. Add a little bit of this green. This is so classic 80s. And just kind of like going, going ham with it, you know? Then we're gonna hit some blue and purple on the lower part. Just wanted to have some fun with using all of this, a lot of the shades that they have in this palette. So I just have a washcloth here and I'm literally just brushing my brush into that really quick. I don't care if I don't get every single part of pigment out from it. It's no big deal to me. I'm going to start with the purple that I put, the Urban, that I put on the lid. I'm going to go on the outside with that. I'm going to go into thirds. Then I wiped off my brush. And now I'm going to go into Fringe, which is this kind of like turquoise shade right here. I'm going to go in the center and then over the purple just to layer it. And then we're gonna take um, Chaos, which is this really fun blue color. It would be fun to see what it would look like by itself, but for what, you know? <laughs> we're gonna go back with a little bit more of the purple, the Urban. And then we're gonna go back into Savage, which is the hot pink. And we're gonna just blend that underneath. And I'm just barely touching my face with the ends of the bristles. I really want the shape of the bristles to do the work for me. Take a little bit more of the purple. I'll get more of a feel of what it looks like when I get my liner and lashes on. Moon Dust Palette. And I just used my fingers for this. I'm going to lay on Spectre. It is a white with pink glitter. I'm going to go in the inner third with that but avoiding going right on top of the green. I'm just wiping my finger off on the towel. And then I'm gonna add um, the purple. And it's like kind of a bronzy, or well, it's a purple with like green reflex in it or something like that. So and that's gonna go in the center of the lid. I always do this before I gotta go cook dinner. <laughs> I don't know why, I just do. And then we're gonna take a little bit of this green here in light year, I like this. Okay, and then we're just gonna tap it. And then what I did to brighten up this side was I went back and then I added a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of thrash. Just a little bit. I really wanted it to play up more limey. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're gonna throw some black liner. I'm using the Milani Liquid I, Shomer, what are you doing? You're gonna like knock over something. You can't go that way. Come on. Oh, oh, you already ate dinner, so no. Okay, so we're just gonna throw some black in the tight line. It's such a dark, colorful look that also I'm not too concerned with whether or not I get any of that black transferring down, but I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Highliner Fine Wine. We're gonna stick that in the waterline. Boost the color, you know? Get a boost of color. I just grabbed my Kat Von D tattoo liner. I have pretty hooded eyes, so I never really do a big wing or anything. I do kind of like a mini one. I'm prepping the lash by bending it around my finger. Oh, so sorry, my nails. Uh, yeah, it's chipped. <laughs> Whoops. Basically, you just wanna get a good amount of glue. I would not have expected this glue to be as nice as it is right now. I mean, I can't say whether or not it would stay on an entire day. That would be a whole other kind of test, but for it to have been so easy to apply for the other one, like quickly and whatnot, I'm stoked on that. So right now as it's drying, I'm just gonna give it a few seconds. I'm just bending, I'm just going back and forth just to kind of give the lash some shape. Cheaper ones like this that have a heavier band need some help. Um, that way they're easier to actually get onto your eye and I totally forgot to throw them on my mascara. So going with uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Oh, don't you just love that? 
putting some mascara on. Boom, across the nose. I'm really impressed with this glue. These things are so wild. These are the greasiest lashes ever. I don't wear lashes like this, but you know, for fun. So yeah, so super easy to get such a, like a fun, you know, kind of like event costumey kind of makeup, you know, a very wearable costume makeup. All right, then on the lips, I think this would be a good choice. It is the Stila Stay All Day, right? Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Baca. I'm not really a lip liner kind of person, to be honest. Here he is again. And I'm still in my workout clothes. You know, it's just fantastic. You could totally rock this, or you could go with something a little bit more nude. Like, I could throw on something a little nude on top of this. Tone it down. You could go for, a, like, straight up purple as well. Like, Urban Decay has a really great purple that you could also wear with this look. I just threw on the, wait, Kate, uh, this is the Rimmel Kate Moss line or whatever the lipstick they've had this forever and i think they actually still have it shade number 14. i mean a look like this if you're gonna go to like an event or whatever if you're gonna go to an event i mean it totally warrants putting on some big old flyaway lashes oh yeah <laughs> it would be like the, the perfect time you know that's when you rock out like the the chunky glitter or you know the really bright colors um all mixed together you know if you're gonna go to a really fun event then this would be a great time to just put on all take out all the stops and put on all the color so yeah anyways i hope you like the look let me know if you recreate something like it maybe you have like an 80 something to go to kind of a fairly quick one i hope you enjoyed it if you did do all the deeds down there right where you click the like if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe and ring that bell of course so you never miss any of my post notifications until next time stay blessed have a great day guys bye bye